and uh, we learned uh, that to run uh, our plays, do what we do in practice, and uh, they uh, run off, they run off, run us uh, out of our plays. Uh, we don't do a good job executing offense. Eve, how frustrating was that first half having to watch from the benches you know, with, with foul trouble? It was. I mean, you know, that's that's the game is going to happen. Um, but uh, you know, we still got to do a job. Uh, even if we are foul trouble, we're going to find a way uh, to stay on track and uh, to keep it up and uh, do our practice. Wes Rucker and Nicholas Hill. Eve, with as much experience as, as you guys have at this point, you know, so especially with some, some veterans there in the backcourt, were you disappointed with some of the decision-making down the stretch offensively? It just seemed like there were moments to, to get back in that thing and just some, some poor decisions with the ball as a yeah, team. We, we had, we had moment, momentum. We had, uh, the, um, they gave us a lot of opportunities to get back at the end of the, uh, of the second half. Uh, we didn't take that. Uh, we need to get better. Uh, we need to get better, but we, we'll be fine. Um, I think we have a lot, um, enough leadership uh, for this team to bounce back. So uh, I'm positive we're going we'll to be fine. Eves, just as one of the senior leaders on the team, what is your message, especially to the freshmen, about how to move forward after this first loss? Uh, you know, it's good for us. It's good for the freshmen, uh, for the younger guys, and it's good for everybody uh, to get fresh on the place um, because, you know, it's the SEC games, uh, longer than easy every night. And uh, everybody's going to uh, come at us so we can be ready. We get pretty hard every night. And uh, it's good for us. We're going to learn from him. We're going to go back to practice, watch films, uh, and get a better from him. All right, one last call for questions for Eve. Go ahead, Wes. Eve, you know, as a senior, you've been around the game for a while. Do you think this team had any sort of overconfidence issues or, or didn't prepare as well for this game or, or was it just a bad night? Uh, you know, we get prepared. Uh, we had a plan for it and uh, I think we did a good, uh, good thing in practice, uh, practice what we do. And, um, but we didn't get it done. Uh, just like Coach said, we didn't get it done. Uh, we didn't uh, do our practice. We had a plan, but we didn't execute. But uh, like I said, uh, I'm confident uh, we don't fix things. You know, keep working, keep working, and we can get better. And uh, we're not going to let this happen again. Last two for Eve, go to Gustavo and then Troy. Eve, uh, uh, Eve uh, how do you, you know, in terms of this atmosphere of the game, you know, how do you feel, you know, with you and your players, you know, this atmosphere, of the, even though you guys lost, you know, it was a tough game, something that you guys might face in March, you know, how do you, See this atmosphere, you know, you and your, you know, player, you know, cup players kind of, you know, facing a tough challenge like that. Playing in this kind of a game, it almost felt like a game in March, like a tournament game. How will that benefit this team? Yeah, exactly. You know, we feel like a much more game. You know, uh, we're gonna be in this situation a lot, um, and uh, you know, teams are gonna come at us, so we gotta be ready, be prepared for every night. Uh, it ain't gonna be easy. Uh, every team is gonna play the best basketball against us. And uh, we got to do what we do, what we, do what we practice, and uh, execute our offense pretty hard every night. Eve, with the offense struggling and, and defense not necessarily playing very well with you off the court, did you kind of put it upon yourself to try and create some momentum when you did get ba get back on the court there in the second half? Yeah, we we need a lot of uh, momentum. We had some, and uh, you know when I get back to the court, I try to give up everything I got, uh, just like uh, every time. It's what I do. Um, getting blocks and like crazy fast, and also uh, fix some plays. Um, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough because it took more than one person to, to get it done. And we did on uh, tonight, but we can better from it. Thank you, Eve. All right, next you can raise hands for Josiah Jordan James. You can take your mask off. We'll start with Mike Wilson, then Rob Lewis. Yeah, Josiah, how much different is this team offensively when, when John Fulkerson's not doing the things that you guys need him to do and expect him to do? I mean, it, it's, it's tough, but I know that, like, last year we, we ran our offense through him. This year we have five guys on the court at one time who we can play through. So, 
Um, we know that he's our leader and that uh, we need him. We need to get him going, but it's not going to be every night like tonight. He just didn't get it going. And I know he's going to bounce back. We know the player that he is. Um, but, I mean, we other guys have to step up. And I think we, we saw that and we know we have to do going into the next game. And it's not just with him, but with anybody who's having an off night. Uh, sharks, sharks aren't falling. We got to find some way to get to the basket because uh, I feel like that's what we – we settled too much tonight and didn't get uh, as many points in the paint as we wanted to. And I feel like that's where we had a little bit of setback tonight. Yeah, kind of on that subject, Josiah, just what do you, you, you never really seemed to get in sync on offense. Do you think that was the big part of it, the points in the paint, the shot selection? Coach said he thought you got, that guys were settling a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they were giving us open looks. And we just weren't hitting them. Like I said, we, we practiced those shots every day, um, but they just weren't falling. And, um, we're still going to keep taking those shots, but at some point, you really got to uh, put the put the game in the refs' hands, as like as coach likes to say. And so, um, I think that we got to learn from this and and learn how to um, take it on the chin, but uh, get better as we go. Grant Ramey and Troy, how much did you guys miss Jaden Springer on the offensive end in terms of the aggressiveness he brings, and how do y'all make up for his absence if he's out for a while? We miss him a lot. I mean, he's definitely one of a really talented freshman that we have, um, especially on both sides of the ball. We definitely missed him a lot, but I talked to him. He He's in good spirits. Uh, hopefully we don't miss him for too much longer, but it's really next man up mentality. We definitely wish he was out there, but we, we have guys prepared. Uh, we go against each other every day, and so it's next man up mentality. And so we know that all five guys that are on the court uh, will be prepared. So how much different is this defense when Eve isn't on the court? And was tonight kind of a reminder that you guys can't always rely on him to be back there to kind of clean up some of the messes that y'all make? Yeah, I mean, it's real different. I mean, um, Alabama definitely had a game plan of going at him early. And I mean, he, he's a defensive player of the year. You want to try to limit his uh, minutes on the court. But uh, it's definitely a, a lot different. He's, he's a guy who makes fix, fix it plays all over the court. And so I think that we – when he's out, we just got to come together even more because we, get, we know that we don't have somebody uh, flying and, and blocking every shot that, that is – or is contesting every shot at the room. And so I feel like we got to do our best to keep him out keep him out there. And I feel like uh, it really starts with us guarding the ball and blow bys because some of the calls uh, that he got called foul for uh, started with uh, the on-ball defense. So we just got to protect each other and have each other's backs. Nicholas Hill and Wes Rucker. Um, do you believe that Alabama's defense was forcing you into some of the bad shots and some of the shot selection, or was it just more of your offensive execution tonight? I mean, we were getting the shots that we, we practiced and that we go through every day, so I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure that they were forcing us into those shots. They're shots that we, we make all the time. Uh, they just weren't falling today. That's, the, that's how the game works. That's how um, it goes some days, and today just wasn't our day uh, on the offensive end with uh, the shots that we usually hit. And so, I mean, I guess that could have been their game plan. I have no idea, but uh, it worked in their favor today. Josiah, when, when you – I guess y'all got some experience. I know you're a sophomore. Santi's a sophomore, but y'all played the game. You know, you've been around it for a while. Um, y'all had some chances to get back in the thing late, you know, as, as tough as the night was. Were some of the decisions d disappointing there, just some of those possessions? It seemed like y'all maybe didn't get the, the looks you, you'd want to get. Yeah, um, everything rises and falls on leadership. So I think that me, Santi, our starting group, really, people who have experience, um, it really fall, this loss really falls on us because uh, down the stretch, uh, they gave us plenty of credit to Alabama. They played a really good game. But down the stretch, they gave us plenty of opportunities to come back um, and, and tie it up or get, get into a, a one-possession ball game. We just didn't execute. And so that starts with leadership. It's, it falls on us. Um, we know that we didn't execute down the line, and we're going to look back at the film and, and learn from this. And hopefully this was definitely a humbling, humbling experience, and it will definitely be a lesson for us. We'll finish up with Gustavo and then David Pascal. Uh, just James, uh, how do you see this loss, you know, going for, you know, uh, you know, kind of maybe humble you guys maybe a little bit because you guys going on a, you know, seven win streak, you know, seven and oh, but how this loss kind of shape you guys going forward this season? It just proves that we have to get better. Um, we definitely would have wanted the picture perfect season undefeated, blah, 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 that and that. But um, this just shows that we have to get better. And every night we're going to get uh, team's best shots. And credit to Alabama. They played a, a hell of a game. Uh, they came in and executed their game plan. It wasn't anything that our coaches could have done any better to prepare us more. Um, it just – it fought on us. It, it, it fell on our leadership. And we didn't, we didn't bring it today. But it's a lesson for us. Um, either you're going to get learn from it or you're going to let it kill you. And 
we're definitely going to learn from it. We have the guys uh, in the locker room to do that. And just if you could just talk about the first five minutes of the second half. I guess it was a two-point game at half, and they built it up to 14 when they hit those five threes. Y'all haven't been through a stretch like that all season. What was kind of going on there? Um, from my perspective, they were just uh, getting – they were driving us, and then we are shrinking a little bit too much and getting – they were getting wide open shots. Uh, coach calls them um, target practice. They were getting target practice threes. And so um, I think that we just have to do a better job of executing our game plan. That definitely wasn't our game plan coming out of halftime. Um, but we got to be more resilient on, on the defensive end. And then a lot of the games in the SEC are going to come down to that. We're not going to be winning by a lot every single game. Um, we got to learn how to fight back uh, and be resilient. I think this, this game will definitely learn that lesson from that. Thank you. Thank you, Josiah. Thanks, Thanks Josiah. everyone.